Welcome to part 19 of Building Uncle Dorkle. Well, I got him sitting on his little stand here that I have in the shed. And I'm painting the bottom below his Adam's apple, which is masking tape. I only put one coat of uh, the flesh-colored paint on there. There's going to be another coat, and then there'll be that clear coat going on there, and then up into here there's a piece of masking tape, I'll paint, paint that too. I um, glued this down and trimmed this a little bit. It's still crappy looking, but it's it's a little better than it was. Still got a little more work to do on it there. There's a little problem. I got that, that I just put some glue on there, but that dries clear. Um, what I am going to do here is I'm going to get a box. I don't have one. And I'm figuring his body don't have to be as big as mine. Matter of fact, it would look pretty neat if the body was a little smaller. So maybe a box about 12 inches wide. Enough to cover this, of course. So let's say, let's say ten inches uh, deep. It could be, it could be eight inches. So between eight and ten. And uh, I established that we're going to be going. This is the end of the stick here. See, it's just sitting in here. And there's a cap that goes on the end of that, which I made up off camera a few days ago. And I took the bolt cutter and I opened up the uh, the closed loop so that I can put the rubber band in. This gets glued in the bottom, or actually it gets screwed in so I can remove it. But that's last because in case I have to work on the mouth or anything, I need to put that contraption in that holds the mouth open. If this is there, you can't do it. And I just packed it with silicone on the inside here so that um, it wouldn't uh, be pulled out, but it's it's very very tight in there, so it's not going to come out. So I figure a body about uh, maybe 16 inches high from the bottom of this plate. So 16. This is 12 here. So we just make it a few more inches to allow for the rubber band that's going to go on the end of that little thing I showed you with the hook. So that'll that'll hold. That'll be fastened to the bottom of the box. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother with legs. I think it's just going to be able to sit flat, and it will have arms. But I don't think I'm going to bother with legs. I mean, I don't. The bigger I make this damn thing, the <laughs> you can see the shed here. Where am I going to store it? You know. So it's got to have a body. And without legs and without an ass. It'll just be flat on the bottom, and then it'll it'll sit right nice on a on a stand or something like that. So uh, that's my method of madness, anyways. So um, that's what I got to do is go and hunt down a box right now. So I'm going out for coffee and hunt down uh, a box that I can make the uh, torso out of. Now I'm ready to put the clear coat on. I've got two coats here. I'm not too worried about this. I just had some extra on the brush, so I just put it there. So what I'm going to do is put the clear coat on this area here. And uh, then I'm going to start working on the body. I got the box for the body outside here on the bench. Nice, good, heavy box. I have to cut it down though. I have to cut it down, it's way too big. I just give you a little bit of video on this because this is, takes a while. We're just cutting the box down. So eight inches is gonna be the body uh, thickness from the front to the back. And we gotta cut further here. Be a little wider on the body.
body than I want it to be. Alright, I'm going to use a simple, ordinary, cheap Elma's all-purpose glue and masking tape. We're just going to glue the sections together and tape them together. Basically, that's how I've done all my costumes, Halloween costumes and stuff in the past. Now, this, you may say, is a square-looking body, but I'm going to round it out with padding and so forth later on. This is the body. God. This I, is the body. You got two bodies in your camera. What else is no? Where'd you get that box from? We'll just tape this up like this until the glue sets. <laughs> glue the inside to keep things together here. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, what I'm doing here is reinforcing the box. This is going to be the bottom. This is where the peg is going to come up with the hook for the elastic band. The height of this thing is 19 inches, so it's about 18 with the extra cardboard on each end, be at 18 and a half. We gotta allow for that hook and the rubber band and the other end of the hook that's gonna be down here for the stick. So that's what we're gonna do. So what we're doing now, and there's some of this Elmer's glue here. Now the back has to be open to get my hand in here to operate this thing, so um, what I'm doing is I'm reinforcing the bottom by just folding these flaps over. And uh, when I fold these two flaps over, I have to leave a space to get my hand in. I don't want the whole thing open, but I want to be able to operate, and then I'll have to cut out here a little too. Fold this over, 
pulled it over. Now, now what we're going to do is we'll tape this, tape this down. Hold it in place. What I will probably do is put a thin piece of wood on top of here with the hook in it to receive the uh, rubber band that's going to come down from the head stick. And the reason for the rubber band is when you operate this thing, you don't want the head to go tilting like this or like this. So they all have like a rubber band at the very end. The rubber band can be replaced because the hook is not closed. I cut it so it's open like this, put the rubber band in. Okay. They're making me a body! They're making me a body! Well, here's what we're going to do. I haven't got a voice for him yet. i got to work on that. But if you look here, it looks like a big space here. But you got four inches from the hook down here, and then you got a couple inches here, so the rubber band goes in between. i got to make a hole up here. But why I'm putting this here, I need to know how much to cut out of here so I can get my hand up in here. And it's going to be... It's going to be pretty close to the top. So he sits up on top like this, and I have to be able to get my hand in there. So I'm going to have to go about an inch down, and I'll just I'll, I'll just round this out here, and I'll do the same to these two flaps here, and leave them leave a space in between so I can get my hand in here. Right, it better be right. Okay. <laughs> now, over here I got the opening cut for the inside part. Now, I don't, I'm don't. i not worried about the gap because i got to get my hand in there. So what I'm going to be doing is to cut around like this so I can, I can uh, do all my work in here. Because when the shirt goes over this, I just go either under the shirt or I can have the shirt open a little bit. You know, cut a slit up the back and get my hand in. Because I do have to be able to work in here in addition to maybe even putting a, a tape player or something in here for the voice uh, in the event that I can't be a ventriloquist, which I'm not. Okay, so first of all, what I'm going to do is to mark this side down and just draw the mark on there. We'll do the same to this one. Da, 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 da. Once I was young and full of vim and vigor, I used to go court the ladies that had a beautiful figure. But now all I can do is just look and do and everybody laughs at me and said look at that stupid fool all right now i just gotta tape and glue all this together that's plenty of room to work in there because the shirt will be over the top of this anyhow now what i have to do is round these off. That means, in other words, I have to cut, literally cut out and round these off. I've done it with the other costumes I've made out of cardboard, too. They take a little while. Before I can do even, even do that, we're going to glue this and tape it all into place here. On one side at a time. Okay. What we do is we're going to put some clamps on clamps on this to hold these uh, this cardboard together because the masking tape isn't really holding good. Uh, make sure that uh, it's going to be tight. get some more clamps. Alright, so we're 
going to do a little more reinforcement here. We got to cut. We got to cut these corners eventually. So have something keep things together. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and cut the corners. Boom! Right off. And then we'll lay another piece of cardboard up in there so you'll have these corners where his shoulders are rounded off. Well, sort of rounded off. There won't really be. The bottom will be flat because I need this to stand up on its own without having to uh, actually be held up into place. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, what, this is the front, this is the back, this is where my hand goes. Now, more importantly, the shoulders should be rounded off on the front where you're actually seeing it, but I might round these two off too, and I'll show you how I'm going to do this. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to draw a line like this here. So what we've got is one of these jobs here. Now I could use a single edge razor blade but it's a little hazardous. So what we're going to do is we use the coping saw. We're going to cut off, we'll, see, we'll try, we never used a couple coping saw on a cardboard before but I don't see why it wouldn't work. Okay. Of course, there's nothing like a a right-handed job for a left-handed guy, I'm telling you. I swear. <sighs> Seems like that's always the way it's coming out. corners off because I want the shoulders rounded. They're not going to really be actually rounded, but they're going to be, by the time I get the padding in there, they'll look a little rounded. You don't want uh, points on the shoulders. You know? not look like much. Originally I was going to put a piece in here like this and glue it, but the shirt's going on it anyways and padding is going in. So we want the shoulders to be rounded. So simply putting the masking tape in here. Which actually you really don't really don't even need this because the shirt's going over it, but we are going to do something like that. Just to close in the corners. This way you got more roundness, and then what I'll do is I'll have a little bit of um, padding in here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use yet. Uh, that'll be under the shirt. So I'm gonna go do this corner. basically how I made all my Halloween costumes and stuff, you know. There's nothing fancy to my work, it's just uh, whatever works for me, that's all. Okay, 
what I'm going to do, call this a day, this has got to dry, i got to round these corners off, but I'm going to let this all, this glue under here all dry up and everything. We'll come back on this video, either in the next part or on this part. I'm not sure yet, we'll have to see how long this video is. Until then, this is it for today.